Hi, Tony here from Tony Meredith Coaching. If creating sustainable change was easy, then everyone would want to be doing it. But the reality is that creating change is hard. And what makes it even harder is when people choose to drag around the baggage of their past with them, weighing them down. So today what I want to talk about is how we can free you of that baggage that you're carrying around, how we can stop you from dwelling on the past in order to move your life forward. Do you dwell on the past? Do you find yourself dwelling on something that's already happened? It could be a comment that you made to someone, a comment that someone made to you. It could be a missed opportunity that you never took. It could be an opportunity that you did take, but you made mistakes. Uh, it could be a whole range of things that you're dwelling on, that you're focused on, that's holding you back, preventing you from moving forward. What's happened has happened. The reality is that no amount of thinking about it, anguish, frustration, upset, hurt, depression is going to change the events that have happened. So why do we stay focused and fixated on what's already gone before us? Let me share with you a personal example. In 2004, I created and built an ice cream cafe. It was an absolute disaster. And what I successfully did was lose $100,000 in nine months. I dented my pride. I, I, I dented certainly my wallet. I dented my confidence. Uh, it was just a, a, a dreadful, dreadful situation. And it hurt and it hurt for a long, long time, and I carried that around with me for a long, long time. But I got to a point when I realized that it just wasn't serving me anymore, that it wasn't gonna bring the money back, that it wasn't going to fix the hurt that I'd already experienced, that it wasn't going to fix the embarrassment uh, that I was going through in regards to my friends and family. I had to let that go. You see, and it's not just thinking about negative events once that's the problem. The issue is that when you replay negative events over and over and over in your mind, you play that negative event that starts to change your emotions, it changes your feelings, it changes your state. And that's a problem with not letting go of things in the past. You see, the human brain can't distinguish between what is real and what is imagined. And so when you imagine the negative event that's happened, this, this incident that you know, you're dwelling on that's holding you back, it lights up all those negative emotions in your mind and you're unable to move forward. In fact, you feel dreadful. You wake up in the morning and the first thing that you do is you start to think about that negative event that's already happened. By thinking about the negative event that's already happened, you're starting to change your emotions and your feelings. And by changing your emotions and your feelings, right from the outset in your day, you're off in a negative mindset and a negative mood. How are you possibly expected to have an amazing day? It just doesn't happen. And so holding on to this baggage is not healthy. You see, your brain is designed to keep you safe. Your brain has had a negative experience before and it doesn't want you to repeat that negative experience because there's a whole lot of negative emotions that are associated with that particular experience first time round. And so it's your brain that tells you that you shouldn't repeat something. It's your brain that says you can't do that. You don't wanna go and repeat that same set of circumstances and end up with the same amount of pain that you got first time round. So your brain is trying to keep you safe. I hope you're getting plenty of value from the video thus far. I want you to stick around to the end where I'm gonna share with you five questions that you ask yourself to help prevent you from dwelling on the past so that you can move your life in a forwards direction. So it's important that you learn to let things go. What we want you to do is to be able to put yourself in a position so that when you come across a similar experience, an individual or an event that you've had a negative experience from in the past, we want you to be able to move forward from that particular moment so that you don't let the baggage of the past hold you back from this particular moment. It could be that you had a bad breakup with an individual and so then you associate all individuals as potentially ending up in bad breakups. We want to change that particular moment, change your mindset, change your frame of reference 
to free you of the baggage so that you can have a really positive relationship with someone moving forward. And here's the great thing with dwelling on the past. You can stop it right now. You can stop dwelling on the past and choose to look at things differently. But you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to put in the hard work and the effort to reframe the way in which you're thinking about things, to reframe the way in which you're approaching uh, or associating things towards that particular event or individual. So it can absolutely happen, but it's going to take a lot of hard work and effort on your behalf. And so there's five questions that you need to ask yourself. And the first question is, what is it that you're actually dwelling on? What is that negative event, person, or comments, or situation that you're focusing and fixated on? And not just what is it, why are you doing that? Why is it that you're focusing on that particular event? The second question is, who or what are you blaming for that particular event? Where are you focusing all of your energy, the, the blame, the lack of responsibility? Who are you directing that towards or what particular set of circumstances are you directing that towards? So it doesn't have to be an individual. It could be that uh, the market uh, affected my performance of my business, an external factor to you, but what are you blaming or who are you blaming for this baggage that you keep thinking about? How is dwelling on the past serving you? I get that for some people they like to play victim because playing victim brings them attention. It brings them attention that they perhaps never uh, had received. Yes, it's negative attention, but it's still attention nonetheless. And for those types of people, they like to play the victim. Poor me. And the other thing is that misery loves company. And so it's easier to complain about stuff to bring up all the baggage of the past so you can sit there and say, poor me, and share that with a whole lot of people. And before you know it, you've got a whole group of people feeding off the negativity, feeding off the baggage from the past, and not able to move their lives forward. So number four is, what is the opportunity by moving forward? What is that something that by moving forward you'll be able to uh, achieve, to receive? What does that look like? What is that something into the future that you want? And the fifth question is, what is it that you're going to do now? One of the key things that you can do is start to forgive. Forgive the person, forgive the event, have forgiveness in your heart. Now that doesn't mean that you need to agree with what they did. Forgiveness is not agreeing, but forgiveness is saying, I don't agree with what you did, but I'm gonna forgive you for doing that because you made a mistake. Hands up the person who has never made a mistake. And so I think it's important you're able to forgive. Another thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to accept responsibility for your actions, accept responsibility for the outcomes. Rather than blaming everybody, take responsibility. I mentioned before about my disaster with the ice cream cafe. And at the time I blamed everyone and everything. But looking back now, I needed to accept responsibility. I was the person who decided to put that shop in that location. I was the person who decided to be hands off and let someone else run the business on a daily basis. That's on me, and I get that now in reflection, but at the time, I was all caught up in the diabolical nature of it all. But you need to be able to accept responsibility in able to move your life forward. And another tip to help you stop dwelling on the past is to get mindful is to be present, is to focus on the here and now. Stop, smell the roses, enjoy this particular moment. Stop looking back on the past and feeling depressed and upset and frustrated of all those missed opportunities or all the bad things that had happened in your life. You can't change it. You need to focus on the right here and the right now. And then you also need to think about moving forward. What is it that I can change? What is it that I actually want from my life? And another great tip is to have a reminder that when you start to dwell on the past and think back on all the negative things that have happened, what's a phrase that you can say to yourself just to jolt you into the present moment? It could be something on the lines of, that's happened, I acknowledge it's happened, I'm now gonna focus on what it is that I can change in my life moving forward. It doesn't have to be that phrase, but it's just an example where you need to stop yourself. All of this change is about getting yourself into conscious thought. 
If you're consciously recognising that you're dwelling on the past, you have an opportunity to then stop. You make the choice whether you can stop, and one way to help you stop is to change your thoughts and jolt yourself out of it so you can move forward. So come up with a phrase or a saying, it's okay, what's happened's happened, I'm now going to focus on what I can change, which is moving my life in a forward direction. Your call to action is to ask yourself the five questions that we just went through, which is, what and why are you dwelling on the past? Who and what are you blaming for what's happened? How is dwelling on the past serving you? What are the opportunities by looking forward in your life? And lastly, what is it that you're actually going to do to move your life forward? It's one thing to have a theoretical understanding. The key is, what are the things that you're going to do to move your life forward? And in finishing, I just want to use the analogy of driving a car. When you're driving a car, you're looking out the front window. You're not looking in the rear view mirror and staring. Because if you were staring in the rear view mirror, you're potentially having a crash. So think about it like a car. Stop staring into the rear view mirror. By all means, glance. Glance, look behind, take the lessons, take the learnings, etc. so you can move your life forward. But focus through the windscreen of the car. Look forwards out of that car, and so you can start to move your life forwards in a similar direction. Thanks for watching.